Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Raspberry Pi to record four channels of audio in a mini home studio as a continuous audio recorder. So it will capture everything that comes out of the Digitact and the Digitone routed through the Behringer 404 as an audio sound card. It's going to capture it and record it. First we're going to get some software installed on the Raspberry Pi. I'm using Raspberry Pi 3 here. Raspberry Pi 2 will probably work fine if you have four USB ports. We're going to install the FFmpeg package. This is used to actually do the audio capture. It'll read the data from the USB interface. In this case, I already have it installed on my Pi. The other thing we're going to have to install is the LAME package, and this is used to convert WAV files into MP3s. Again, I have it already installed here. We don't want to capture four channels of audio as a WAV file because that'll just take up way too much space. Now we're going to want this to run periodically. We don't want to have to launch it every time we're recording. For this we're going to use a tool called CronTab. It's a standard Unix tool. But one of the key things we need to be able to do is know what port, what USB port, our audio card is on. And in this case it's coming up as a U192K. How did I find that out? Use this tool, Aplay-L. There you see card 1, which is the, the 404 HD, is called U192K on this uh, Raspberry Pi. Another way of checking this is with A Play minus capital L. There you can scroll back and we see that the, uh, the 404 shows up as a card equals U192K. That U192K is the device ID that we're going to need for this set of commands. Now I've packaged together everything into this little shell script. Seems pretty complicated, but what this is doing is capturing audio from the USB interface from the Behringer for one hour or 3,599 seconds, and then converting it into an MP3 and storing that in a file in my uh, Raspberry Pi's home directory. CronTab lets us run this uh, command. In this case, it's going to run every hour on the hour for an hour, or for one second less than an hour, and it will store each recording, no matter what's happening, into a file and the file name is going to be the date and time. So here you see some files I've been capturing. Sometimes I'm doing nothing, so it's just capturing just pure silence. Sometimes I'm noodling around, but one way or another I'm capturing everything I'm doing in my studio. I have a capture running live right now, so you can see the file there at the bottom. It's getting larger in size as it's capturing data. One hour corresponds to about 55 megabytes of space on the card. How do we get the files off the Raspberry Pi? Well, the nice thing about it is the Pi can be accessed from your Mac if you have the NetaTalk package installed. Uh, plenty of tutorials available uh, online to explain how to do that. Connect into the Raspberry Pi. It appears as a drive just on your desktop. Double click in there. You'll see the sessions directory I created earlier. And there's all those files that I showed you earlier. Let's just drag one of those onto our desktops and uh, take a listen at what's in it. Takes a while to copy off. Let's just let that run real quick. Here we have a copied into Audacity, and I have recorded a session. Let's listen. As you can see, the Raspberry Pi is a very useful tool for in the studio for capturing audio, just running in the background recording. If you enjoy this video, please click like, leave me some comments, let me know what you think. Thanks.